<laughs> oh, that's from doing demos on this thing, so it's covered in spit. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> my, yeah, my laptop, my, my wife always goes, why is your laptop covered in like specks everywhere? It's just like, because well, yeah. I'm sitting here going, Rah! and it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's super gross. Oh, well, it's good to see you. Where, whereabouts are you? I'm staying with my sister and brother-in-law in Wellington. Um, I've yeah. got a couple of days off cool. uh, after, I mean, we came over to do the, the she had coronet peak show which was right. um which was actually fabulous like it was like wow i've never played on a mountain before and there was like <laughs> three thousand people turned up and very cool so, so it's like this surreal situation and then you look up and it's just like people are still snowboarding and we, we start at night so it's all lit up yep. so it, it looked it looked i remember thinking at the time wow this looks amazing but when i see the photos it looks like we're playing on the moon and there's all these people not wearing sort of you know space suits so right. um and and um and it was great like we got to play two of the new songs off the new record and cool people just went ballistic it was like it was it was really um joyous actually because considering how heavy we are yeah it had a yeah. little, there was just smiles everywhere and right that's you know, what you it want. really it's because people yeah, need yeah. it man they need the live i music. know i know well i needed it i mean that's why i wrote this record because i just needed to know that i wasn't going insane watching people agreeing with people like Bolsonaro and Trump and Boris Johnson and stuff like that. And I, I just, I mean, I know that it's designed to make you feel alone and, and divided and that's what they want and blah, right. blah, blah. But you start to, if you, you know, digest it too much, you start to go, shit, I'm not the only person that thinks that this is madness. Eh? You no, know, it's no, like, I can guarantee you're not. <laughs> yeah, totally. But I think that's what, that's what finally got me out of my I'm not going to write again sort of slump was just like right. I need to hear music that says I'm not alone and I'm not yep. Um, yep. going mad you know like it's the rest of the world that's going mad you know <laughs> and so you went up to the top of the mountain <laughs> I went to the top of the mountain and then went boosh and then yeah and then three days of um interviews about that record right uh followed by um and then just I uh, so I've just now come down to Wellington because uh, this is the first time I've managed to get here uh, since lockdown number five or six. Like I've lost count. Right, now. right, right. I just literally can't keep up with what's going on there. Um, I managed to get through in that seven day period uh, when uh, Jacinta sort of announced that they're going to pause the bubble for two months. Right. But if you had a Kiwi passport, you could come over in right. the seven day window. So it was like, and if you're from Victoria, which is the, the least sort of... Um, affected Lip area <laughs> yeah well it's well because when we do lockdowns we actually do lockdowns rather than sort of dip our toe in the water you know it's just yeah, like yeah, okay yeah. we're gonna lock down everyone's just we're we're, we're experts at it now so we know yeah. that it doesn't work unless everyone jumps on board gotcha. um yeah meanwhile new south wales is like they have no idea and it's oh, just dear. but it's all to do with this you know difference of state you know leadership it's just like well that's a liberal government i sort of more like a national party over here yep. and you know victoria's labor it's just a different way of thinking about the world it's like yeah people in economy rather than economy than people you know it's just like it's just a mm. shame that politics has to be involved in things like the covid thing for instance i mean well, it should, I, I think it should be really completely true. apolitical if you know well you think world. so and and <laughs> well i mean it's just, it's really interesting. It's testing a lot of ideas. This pandemic came along and it went, I'm a, an immovable object, no matter what you believe. Yeah. This is the reality. And yeah. uh, there's a lot of things that are being tested here. You know, like a lot of ideologies that everyone's cruising along thinking that's the answer to everything. And it's just like, well, <laughs> actually, yeah. this is one where we actually have to work together. So uh, yeah, that individualism and, you know, you know, full on free market capitalism, you know, let the market decide. Well, it, the the pandemic doesn't give a fuck about the market. Exactly. And it doesn't care about your ideology. Yeah. And it's yeah. just gonna yeah. it's just gonna take what it's gonna take. And you, and we actually have to work together. Luckily New Zealand jumped on board with Jacinda. Good leadership. Yep. Really um fortunate geographical position, obviously. That's a fact, yeah. <laughs> um but yeah everyone got on board you know and i and whenever i see anybody like giving a shit about how slow the vaccine rollout is and you know trying to lay into her it's just like just look at australia it's yep. a fucking disaster you know it's like yep. it's um 
we are so over being in lockdown. It's like people's have lost their jobs, people have lost their businesses. Um, you you go into a lockdown, you go, okay, we can do this, but then the future looks bleak because um, who's to say it two days later, you're going back into lockdown again. Yep, exactly. we, no one can plan anything. Right. So, you know, I mean, you're missing births, deaths, weddings, uh, everything. The and everything in between, in yes. The entertainment industry is like destroyed. Like it's yep. gone. Yep. All the yep. venues are closed. And when yep. they do open up, you can't, you know, you can't stick enough people in there to make it viable financially. Right. Yeah. So you can't pay musicians. You can't pay technicians. You can't pay anybody. So it's just, whenever I hear anyone complaining about New Zealand, it's just like, shut the fuck up. Seriously. <laughs> so fortunate here. Yep, yep. It's like, you're so fortunate, you know. So um, I can see that you have lots to talk about. Oh, sorry, sorry. I no, just this been... is great. This is great because uh, <laughs> I was leading into my question about, well, your solo show, you're going to be telling some stories. And it's like, well, obviously you have something to say. Oh, well, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, this, yeah, the solo shows for me is like, I mean, I, I, I performed since I was 18 years old, right? I, I mean, yes, admittedly, I started in a speed metal band and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I, yeah. as soon as I was on stage, even in that that early Clarendon Tavern playing in front of, you know, 43 skinheads who just <laughs> happened to like the hardcore band that we were supporting right. um, and, and, and sort of liked us because we played really fast. Yep. Um, I went, this is home for me. You know, the, the, I like being on stage. I like yeah. performing. I like connecting with humans as well. And uh, the solo thing for me is like, you know, unlike... I mean, obviously, there's a connection thing going on with Shihad. Yeah, but it's more of a it's more of a heightened, um, uh, you know, it, it's it's big. It's like w what I'd call a Hollywood blockbuster. You know, it's like <laughs> it's it's I'm almost a master of ceremonies, uh, PT instructor saying you move now and you move this way and you yes. move. You know, and yes. it's more yep. about moving the body. Yep. You know, people sit along, but this more is more like, hello, what's your story? You know, and, yeah. and I'm, you know, it's more of the human side of things. I can, we're, I'm only playing, you know, places like Meow and, you know, stuff like that. And it's like, it's, um, which I'm not dumbing on that, but it means that I can see every face. Yeah. You know, it's like a conversation, which is. That can be scary a, though, can't it? I mean, it, it is. As it's, a performer. It's, it's, <laughs> and it reminds me of that, that thrill, that sort of tightrope like thrill of not knowing if it's going to work, which is what I used to have when, when I used to, play early shows with Shihad. Nowadays yeah. with Shihad, you know it's going to be of a certain standard because we've we're, we've done it for 33 years. Yeah. We've got, you know, we've got this wall of sound. You know, yeah, sure. It's always I'm still nervous before a, a, a Shihad show. It's but that's more to do with am I gonna feel that elation that I get? You know, it's like you know, because it takes a bit of effort. Sure. Um but with this it's more like yeah I mean you know, I'll have some stories that I that I that I retell and stuff, but everything's dependent on the people in the room, and it's like right. a totally different way of doing things for me. So mm. I really enjoy it. You know, um, much I have to be present. You know, I have to be yeah, really. Yeah. You, you have know, to react. Straight and, to, yeah, yeah, and and, <laughs> and aware of the people in the room. So it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. So if you can see the people, and let's face it, we've all we've been to many shows, and we all sorts of people attend these shows for various sure. reasons. Um, so you're sitting there, let's say, at the power station here at one of these cabaret style shows, and mm. you, out of your corner of your eye, you see some guy just gabbing away, trying to impress his girlfriend about God knows what, while sure, you're sure. pouring your heart out on stage. How does that affect you? Oh, I, I, I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop and just say, hey, if you want to have that conversation, maybe have it outside. Right. And then it continues. It's like, yeah, I'll stop again and just go, yeah. Yeah. Nah. nah. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it, it, the thing is for me, it's like, it's not about, it's, it's so much uh, respect for me as a, as a thing. It's actually respect for all the other people that took, you know, oh, yeah. took you know organized <laughs> babysitters, blah, yep. blah, blah. Yep. You know, it's their night out and it's like, you're, you're ruining it literally yeah, yeah, i mean yeah. uh, but you know I, I can deal with it a little bit but yeah when it gets when it's starting to be louder than me it's like so yeah that's a problem yeah. yeah it's a yeah so i'll i'll, I'll stop and just say yeah now nah. <laughs> in, in the most polite way yep yeah now nah. yeah yeah yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah yeah beautiful that's the kiwi attitude i like <laughs> <laughs> so music wise song wise where are you going with this thing Oh, this is um 
this is uh for me it's like okay so where she had is is like a, a more of a physicality sort of dance action this is more of a singing yeah so okay i love i uh, was brought up in a um uh a british immigrant household right. uh so you know a bunch of 10 pound poems all the people <laughs> i called auntie and uncle were basically just people that were on the same boat as my parents in right. the 50s coming out to, to new zealand so all their parties were basically it was all sing-along so right. you know admittedly it was more things like roll out the barrel and then <laughs> and then someone would you know get wasted and then put t-rex get it on or or, or the stones or something like that but um you know they're, they're a bit older than me so sure. um uh yeah so but i did like that feeling of that communal feeling of like everyone singing the same thing and also um it didn't really matter if you could sing or not because when you're singing in a big group yeah, just the good. law of averages makes it sound great yep. <laughs> as you can tell it evens like it a, out finds the common it note. evens it out and, that's <laughs> what I, and you know there's and you know after i so basically my job at these shows is basically just to let people know it's okay yep. if you can sing or not yep. and then play a song that they'd probably know and then just go let's just try it out you know let's sing along and then usually by the end of the night everyone's singing along really loud and it's like yep. there's just no big feeling i you know i i feel elated as a human being and and hopefully you know the idea is that the crowd have that same feeling when they leave you know it's just like cool so yep, yep. you know work tomorrow is going to seem a little bit better you know um <laughs> that's the well, idea you know? that's yeah 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 thing. well you know i mean i've been talking to people all over the world and everybody's in a different a different and stranger state of mind and i thought i think that they are used to from being through whatever anybody has been through so what about yourself how is how has it affected you uh it's uh yes so i mean getting back to you know ro the rolling lockdowns in melbourne it, yep. there's a, a there's a feeling of impending doom at all times there is you know people you know that are depressed and anxious and and the future doesn't you can't you can't see the future so that right. it's really quite unusual feeling you know it's actually quite a it's like having a dark cloud over your head you know just because you don't know you can't plan anything you can't get to all these important things how it affected me personally recently in the fifth lockdown i was in melbourne and i got word that my mum in wellington was gonna die so uh so i literally had to watch my mum die on a phone yeah. so um and after the initial uh thing of of basically going okay okay there must be somewhere to get home uh i'll just go up to sydney oh no i can't because that border's closed okay i'll, I'll go down to south Wales australia no that border's closed oh okay i'll get an exemption oh, i can't get an exemption okay um and by the time if, if i go if i do get an exemption i'm in a hotel room for for two Ooh. weeks yeah she's already in a morphine induced a coma yeah and it's like and i'm going to be away from my children for two right. weeks so it's right. like right. yep what are you gonna do but like i'd heard stories like that and I'd, yeah. I'd gone oh that that must be awful but i can tell you from first-hand experience it fucking sucks and yeah, it's so yeah. painful when yep. all you want to do is hold your mum's hand for the last time and yep. you can't yep. you know it's like um so we went through that and then following on from that we you know i've got a really understanding brother and sister um so we pushed the the memorial back for two months oh and that's nice just, yeah. just well you need to be we there for that you know if you can that's yeah. The well, but, yeah but then just as we were about to do that lockdown number lockdown five, again. Oh, lockdown number six. so we couldn't go so uh -huh. there was part of me that was like i was a little bit happy about the fact that i didn't have to get my three-year-old to have a covid test because i know how uncomfortable covid test is for an adult right but that was that was the deal she's over two so they had to give her a covid test before we can come over and even when you know it wasn't locked down so there was a part of me that went oh at least we don't have to put the kids through that trauma yep, you yep, know yep. um but i did uh, it was like yeah I, so i missed my mum yeah both my mum's death and then also her memorial yeah. so yeah so it's affected me pretty personally as well yeah you know? i've kind of gone through the same thing myself so i know how you feel <laughs> oh really what happened what my happened, mother honey? passed away last year um, and i was not yeah. there because i was here yeah. and i couldn't go there yes you yes. can't go there so yeah. where does she where was she living she was in florida she was British, okay. believe it or not. But uh, oh, really, yeah. And Florida, I see. Florida is absolutely kicking off again right now. Um, yeah. Due to some crazy political um, decisions. 
Yes, uh, there's and, a lot of that going around. <laughs> very poor leadership. I mean, obviously, I think that's poor leadership. Yeah. I, I, that I, guy, I that guy DeSantis, he knows better than what he's fucking saying. He's playing yeah. to the mob. Yep, and he's yep. just saying what he thinks he need they need to hear. And meanwhile, a lot of people are dying and a lot of people are, are, are you know, oh, yep. it's just awful to watch. It's awful to watch. Uh, awful. Yes. All right, back to music. Yes. <laughs> so you have the two, uh, we, you have two shows at the power station starting August 20th. And then you're mm. coming back with the band a couple of months later. So yeah, and I'm so, yeah, I'm so excited about that as well. I mean, like, honestly, just, just getting a taste of what, yeah. playing that new music's like live yeah. like, okay good this is gonna work you know and um because yeah. that that is that first those first two tracks are very indicative of, of what that record is like it is right uh it is a heavy it's like basically what do we do best distilled into one record and it's um uh and it's saying what i you know i believe in 100 percent of what i'm saying on this record right i know we're copying a bit of shit for the artwork and we know you know we you know i've had people going you self-loathing white liberal blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> it's funny it's like it's coming from people who don't even know me and and of course the, the, the thing is the thing is once i actually you know had that epiphany of oh right i'm i'm a white male in a, in a society that's actually built for white males to succeed and that's yep. based on the history of this country and based on the history of the west I actually sleep better at night to tell you the truth. Um, so it's not actually about self-loathing. It's yep. just about acknowledging the history and where you, what your part in it is yep. and where, why you have the advantages that you have, you know, and trying to, trying to do better and trying to, to yep. evolve. And, and yep. so it's been really interesting to see, you know what, like, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm, I'm cool with anyone believing what they want to believe, but I know what I believe. And I, even though this record is heavy, it's it's born out of a love for humanity and the love for the you know potential in humanity. That's the only reason I'm so angry is because right. I'm watching all these fevered egos take people. You know, it's just it's just disastrous watching what's happened in the space of four and five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Brazil's a disaster. America's a disaster. Um, Britain's a disaster. Yeah. And it's like. I don't care what you believe, but we've seen this before. A bunch of strong men who are empty vessels, who are, don't care about humans, who don't like humans. What happens when you give them the reins and something like a pandemic happens? Oh, a whole lot of fucking people die. Yeah. And even after all that, um, you know, evidence, people still go, yeah, but he's not a politician. He's telling it like it is. But they've just been, they've just been taken for a ride. And it's, yeah. I, I, I am quite, comfortable um uh with our position in this record in fact oh, good. I now, i'm curious because you're a band so there's yeah there's four of you they everybody on the 100%. same page yeah we've always the thing is it's like i've had other comments going oh you had to go all political have they not heard all the young fascists off fucking yeah. <laughs> off um you know love is the new hate we've always had these conversations you know we've yeah. we were we were inner city kids yes we were a little bogans that like speed metal but we were brought up with you know i mean i was brought up with working class parents so i was always like rooting for the underdog anyway yep. you know I, I and and for and because of that i always hated seeing people being exploited i yeah. always hate it when when powerful people use their power over people with less power yep. so there's nothing we're saying on this record that we've never really said it's like if you are getting offended by this record and I don't think you we were the band for you anyway. Where were you? you know? Where have you been? <laughs> have you yeah, been were you listening to what I was saying? I mean, yeah. really. I yeah. mean, so I'm I couldn't be prouder of the band. Uh, I couldn't be proud of this album. I think it's the best. I mean, it's the best she hard record because it's the distillation of 33 years of work and yeah. knowing what we do best and yeah. saying exactly what I wanted to fucking say. Yeah. I don't think I don't think the I think the world's in a precarious um situation and there's no there's no time. For fence sitting at the moment i honestly believe you've we've the you know people who who like people need to step up and say nah greed and selfishness is not the way to fucking solve this problem and um and if we and you know meanwhile behind all this we've got the climate <laughs> which is, is that. everybody <laughs> exactly so we've yes. got to we cannot deal with that situation if we're fractured and divided so yeah. we need to go uh-uh We'll call the people who are exploiting people out. 
And yeah. um, I know, I know there's a long battle ahead of us, but yeah, but I know what side of the fence I'm sitting, you know, and I'm very comfortable with that. Yeah. You know? So yeah. I'm curious when, when you're out, when you're up on stage, you're meeting with your fans, there's going to be a, a certain amount that are going to completely disagree with you, or at least be Absolutely. somewhat offended by the fact that you're preaching to them when they just want to rock out. How do you deal with that? I, I, I don't care. Like, I mean, I, I honestly don't care. I, I'm 50 years old. Right. I, I'm, this is my art. Yeah. Um, and I've, I need to express as an artist, I need to express what I believe and what I think. Also, like I told you the thing for me, it's a cathartic experience. It's to, sure. I'm trying to create something that I need to hear to make me feel less alone. You know, that's making me feel like the world isn't insane, insane, you know? So, so uh, that's the art I create. Now, obviously there's going to be people and there has been people that have been really unhappy with say the image on the album cover. Yep. Um, I've had people saying you can't ditch history and James, <laughs> you know, and you, and, and you're attacking my heroes. And it's like, well, well, a, I'm not ditching history. I'm just saying it's time to acknowledge history. There's a diff big difference between ditching and acknowledging. Sure. Yep, yep. And acknowledging history is if we want to evolve and if we want to deal with big ex existential problems like A, the pandemic that we're dealing with, and B, you know, racial injustice, gender injustice, and, you know, uh, financial injustice, um, and then climate injustice on top of it all, we need to fucking, we need to, we need to actually just grow up, you know, yep, yep, and yep. go, Hey, my bad. Let's work together. Yep. Move on. You know, and um, I just don't think there's time to fucking mess around. And I can't be bothered pandering to people that I think are living in a fantasy world. I'm sorry. You know, I just, I just, yeah. um, I just don't think we've got time. You know, I just don't think we've got time. And um, and and that's also I deal with. You know, that's also I. You know, dealing with you know the whole conspiracy theorists around. You know, oh, yes. um, thing. I I have no time for that because. There's just gigantic, you know, um, injustices going on in front of our very eyes that we need to deal with. Yep. You know, yep. all those things that I just talked about before, which are massive conspiracies anyway, because yes. it's just, but they're right in front of our eyes. Why exactly. do we need to talk about, li li you know, lizard people and, and you know, chips and fucking things and, and Democrats, <laughs> you know, drinking the blood of babies? And it's just a, such a red herring. And it's just to keep yeah. people... Yeah. Yep. You know, it's yep. just like, no, man, yep. there's, there's a whole lot of shit we need to deal with. And you're worried about that? Fuck, it's just such a time-wasting exercise. I, I don't have time for it, cool. you know? And it's been interesting because I've had, like, people say, you know, expecting me because I'm in a rock and roll band to be um, down with this. And it's like, it, it's, it's funny. Like, a lot of my rock and roll friends or musician friends have, been, have taken a real pragmatic approach to the pandemic you know because yep. i think we, most artists just really like people and like humans and you just want to you just want the best for them so it's yep. like well yep. yeah like going out without masks and and you know to central melbourne or central sydney to during you know 300 cases a day is not helping you do right. realize that, you know yeah. Yeah. it's not going to help you get what you want you know yeah. Yeah. um there's, it's a real, it's a real interesting time. It's like that individualism of the West being faced with a pandemic that doesn't give a fuck about the individual. Yep. And we've got to work as a, com a, you know, a communal, a community. And yep. it's just like, but unfortunately for the last, whatever, how many years we've been taught, no, the individual right above the, uh, the, the yep. you know, the, yep. the, the community, right? pandemic doesn't give a shit about that either. and that's a very american attitude i must say having come from there <laughs> and it's been and it's been well it's been exported to the you know to all around the west you know yeah. and it's like yeah. you know and you know and i mean there, there there's great things about america i mean great ideas come from america you know and it's not black and white unfortunately there is a reason why there's an opioid epidemic and an antidepressant yeah. epidemic because yeah. we don't have all the fucking answers in the west you know we yeah. just don't yeah. and i i personally think it's time to ask the people that were there before us if if maybe they have better ways of dealing with that shit yeah. you know why like, not open mind yeah. <laughs> <laughs> open those minds that's what i say i mean totally. yeah as, as a guy who's getting older i find that i have to think differently now and look at everything yeah, sure. in a different way and uh, yeah, absolutely and, and that's what people and realize that you're not going to be here forever and it's not all about you <laughs> that's you true. know and it's like 
what yeah. are you going to leave behind? What's your legacy? You know? Yeah. 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 Fantastic. Well, I have a feeling this solo show at the power station is going to be something to remember. Oh, absolutely. They, they'll be great. And uh, yeah, no, they, we sold out the she had sold out the first power station. As I well. saw that you got to add it another one, right? Yeah, got onto the second one, which is fantastic. And um, I think all the rest of them are, uh, you know, so that's going to be a great tour in November. I'm really looking forward to that. Excellent. Thank you so much for taking time to talk. Pleasure, to dude. Love to talk to you. Sorry <laughs> about see you at the show, I'm sure. Because I'm, what, it's just around the corner. <laughs> awesome, buddy. Lovely to talk to you, mate. You and I'm sorry to hear about your mum as well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about yours. So, you know, yeah. what do you get? All right. Have a good one. Okay, mate. Thanks. Bye-bye. Awesome.